Okay, shape number seven, five points. Start with a pull click to four, go with a pull click up to one o'clock, something like that. Hold Alt or Option and go down to four. Then over to here it says pull click to two. So let's go pull click, don't hold anything down, just pull click to two. Now hold down Alt or Option and pull click to about 6.30. See it right there? About 6.30. Don't make your handlebar too long. Now let me move this up. Now it says pull click to seven o'clock, just about like that. An option pull click, so hold alt or option to eight o'clock, right about there. Okay, now go way over to point five and pull click to seven o'clock. Now re-click the point and then it says shift click on point one. So I know that I'm done now and I don't need it anymore. So now let's go shift, let's re-click the point again because I don't remember if I did it and shift click on this point and remember I asked you to hold the alt or option key so it doesn't hurt that first curve. Do you remember just a minute ago? Even though the handout didn't say that, I'm saying that. Okay, so now let's move in and let's fix this one. So let's get the direct select tool and click away. Let's now pull this away and put it about in the center, which is about right there. That'll get fixed right here when we edit this point. Okay, so let's go here. Now let's pull this one away with the direct select and put it back. Hopefully this one will go pretty fast. Let's pull this one away, zoom in and put it back right there. Okay, now let's go down to the bottom, zoom in, move it away with the direct select, move it back. I have to get closer. Move it away and put it back. You see the importance of being close and being able to scroll into these shapes? Let's um, use the space bar to move it over and then option, middle mouse button, and move it over, get rid of it, and now put it back. Now, let me save the file. I'll move it down just a tiny bit. Okay, now since we're here, let's fix this curve. Okay, so this is just like the first shape. So let's pull it really far. I have to go up like this. Now let's pull this one really far. Oh, sorry about the tolerance here. And I'm really close. Oh my gosh, that was like amazing. Let's go down and to the right. Oh, I almost got it in two moves. That was amazing. Okay, that's just fine. So now let's go up to the corner here. Let's click. And you see the handlebar that's right there. Okay, this one has a handlebar. Let me show you. This one is for the big curve right here. Okay, this teensy weensy one is supposed to go straight down. So I'm going to grab the convert tool, click and hold that and make sure it goes straight down. Now watch the corner fix. You see that? See how it fixed? I'll move it over just a little bit and then I'll switch back to the direct select. I cannot stress that enough. By me switching back, I was able to do some things there. Okay, and fix that corner. Now, let me move this one down. Not so far. Okay, not so far. I pulled it down too far. And now let's try to fix this. Okay, that looks good. And that looks good. A little bit more. A little bit more, Brian. Okay, and now this one needs to come just to the left a tiny bit and that's it. So now let's go over to here. This one needs to come down just a tiny bit. Good. And this one needs to come over here just a tiny bit. Almost done and there. Now save the file. Save it after every good thing you do. Now let's click it. This point so I can see this handlebar. I'll zoom in. Let's push the line closer. Okay, now that almost had it exactly right. I've done that shape. That was a good one. I'll see you in the next shape.